Okay, off the rock. Okay, um, we're getting close to the end, uh, end of the semester. Um, we've got them now where pretty much everybody is touch wood, uh, are staying on and being able to gallop a full figure eight out into the, the big field. We've got them to where they've, uh, you know, when they do get in a little bit of trouble, they now know how to do the oh shit circles well and trying to get them to where they don't rely on that so much anymore. The position is like a tripod where you have your back over the center of gravity of the horse, you have your heels down, leg, lower legs forward, and then you have your hands not completely together but not completely apart. What you want to do is have light enough hands to where you have good contact with the reins. And, and that's a hard thing to teach them because sometimes they put their hands down like you teach them, but there's too much of a, of a, of a gap in the reins. So what happens is the horse is galloping, the, the head will move up and down. And so there'll be a gap in the reins and it'll get tight. And then a gap in the reins and it'll be tight. So what we want to try to teach them is have the hands in the right position, but keep them light enough to where they're following the horse's mouth. And you have to correct a racehorse that's trying to run off immediately, like the first two or three strides. Oh, oh, you know, you don't want to get come back to me, come back to me. And then you know, sometimes you have to really put them back on their hocks a little bit. And then, as soon as they do what you ask them to do, then you reward them with, by giving them their head. You know. And sometimes you have to readjust like that constantly. Every year we'll get one or two kids who are further along, so we like to have a horse like Marble. And he's, he's kind of, he knows immediately who's on his back. He's one of those kind of horses that if you ride him with confidence, you have a little experience, um, you know, uh, you don't get into a fight with him, you know. Um, you know, you have to find, like I said, that um, that happy medium between a good hold, but not, you know, ha ha trying to take off. It's like Captain Ahab coming back with the great white whale. <laughs> so at the end there, obviously he was tired and not, but did you see how he had, his head was bowed down and you, you found that happy medium? And I was going to see if you were going to all of a sudden panic down there. And once you find that, that spot with him, then just to chill it. Uh, they, they've also got their assessment, fitness assessment, which will be on May 1st. And um, we'll meet at the Northside Y, and that's going to be a, a tough one. Um, and um, so that all happened a week. For, between May 1st and May 8th will be the the end of the semester and we'll see who passes who, who gets passed on to the next class and who doesn't.